Bidding with the HHS Online Bid Room The home screen of the online bid room is also known as the Work Center. On the left-hand side you will see four tabs. Work Center Instructions, All Open Bid Events, Account Management, and Links. The Work Center Instructions tab provides instructions on how to use the Work Center. Please note that these are instructions on how to use the Work Center specifically and not how to submit a bid for a particular solicitation. The All Open Bid Events tab will show you all open bid events on which you can bid. Under Account Management, you have the option to set security questions for a forgotten password hint. You will have the option to select from several different questions and provide a response you will use in the instance that you ever forget your password. Under the Links tab, you will see a variety of helpful links. Selecting the arrow will minimize these tabs to the left. To view open events, select Search for Public or Other Invited Events to Bid On. You can use the instructions provided to do a wildcard search to search for a particular topic you wish to bid on. Select Search to complete your search. You can also save your search criteria by selecting Save Search Criteria. Here you will have the option to enter a description or name for which to save your search. Select Save to save the criteria for later use. In order to access previously saved searches, select Use Saved Search. You can then select from your previously saved search criteria. Once you've located the solicitation on which you wish to bid, you can select the event ID, which is a hyperlink. This will take you to the landing page for this particular solicitation. To view the solicitation package for this particular event, select View Event Package. This will bring up all of the package attachments. Select View to download a particular document. You will then have the ability to download the document depending on which browser you're using and open the particular document in the appropriate program on your computer. When you're ready to bid on an event, select Bid on Event from the solicitation landing screen for that particular event. This will open up the bidding screen. Pay attention to items that require a response, which are noted with a red star. You can also select to add comments or attachments. To add an attachment, select Upload, then select Choose File, then select the file you wish to upload, then select Upload. You can then add a description of the file you've uploaded. To add additional attachments, select Add New Attachments. You can also delete an attachment or delete an attachment placeholder by selecting Delete. Select OK to confirm that you wish to delete this particular row. When you're done adding comments and attachments, select OK to return to the main bid screen for the solicitation. Add your unit bid price for each item as listed on the solicitation page. Remember, this is unit bid price, not total price. You can see total price in the column indicated. Continue adding your unit bid price for each item. Some solicitations allow you the option to not bid on a particular item or items. Select No Bid if you intend to not bid on a particular item. Once you've finished filling out all of the bid amounts, select Validate Entry. If there are issues, you will receive an error message. Select OK. Scroll to the top of the page to receive details on the issues found. Once you've corrected the issues or confirmed that there are no issues, select Submit Bid. You will receive a confirmation that your bid has been successfully submitted. It is recommended that you keep a copy of this page for your records. When you're finished, select OK. For some bids, you may also need to upload an XML bid response. To begin this process, select Upload XML Bid Response. Please make special note that this applies only to Invitation for Bids, or IFBs. On the next screen, you will select Select XML File. 
Select Choose File, then select the file you wish to upload. This file would have been originally accessed from the solicitation package, completed, then saved with the same file name prior to upload. Once the file is attached, select Upload. If the file is successfully uploaded, you will return to the main bid screen for this particular solicitation. You can then proceed with validating your entries, and if there are no errors, submit your bid. This concludes our coverage of the HHS Online Bid Room key functionality. We invite you to view the user's guide, as well as to see the Frequently Asked Questions document for more information.